Hello. Oh, push this button to spawn. Oh, I move. Oh, I can tilt the egg. Well, this game is definitely 10 out of 10 so far. No one also <laughs> thinks so. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm alive. <gasps> oh, oh my God, I look evil. Yes, the evil dragon is come. Me. Can I run? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh my god, look at that run animation. This is so cool. So hello everybody and welcome to the highly anticipated and very much requested Day of Dragons. Uh, right off the bat, I'll not linger on this too long. I have a broken throat at the moment, so I might sound a bit weird. So you are looking at a super successful Kickstarter game. This is Day of Dragons. It is still on Kickstarter right now if you want to back it. Uh, think of it as the Isle, but with dragons. As well, I was gonna say as well, but mainly primarily just with dragons. <gasps> oh, can I fly? Do I hold jump and... Okay, I think I'm a baby and I can't fly yet. Oh, okay. So before we get into this, uh, this game hasn't been released yet. This isn't even beta. This is... Oh, look at me! I've got like a little swimmy swim animation. Oh, that's so cool. Da, 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 da. Also, the lighting's a bit weird because this is night. However, I notice these games always struggle with getting night, right? But <coughs> it looks really cool. Oh. oh, wow, okay. It just turned day. Are we running at 60 FPS now? Don't say it's not so. Okay, we're a little baby dragon. But we're gonna we're gonna start small and then we're gonna get big. So right off the bat, people will be like, "That's not a dragon, that's a wyvern, you freak!" <laughs> Basically, uh, this game actually has both, so it can satisfy all of you, and you can also fall through rocks. That is relatable. Uh, can I get out? Help! <laughs> I actually can't get out. No! Oh, there we go. There we go. I did it. I did it. I don't need no help. I'm an independent dragon. So in this game. You will be able to, I think, can you chat to people? Yeah, you can chat to people. I mean, it's probably dumbing it down, but for anybody who has never heard of this game, just imagine the Isle with dinosaurs. I think you're going to have growth, you're going to have all of the lovely things that the Isle actually... Oh, no. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it happened again. Um, there's going to be, like, aliens to eat some weird alien creatures. Uh, I'm not too sure about the lore. I think I'm all by myself. So that's the problem with getting like exclusive access to this game. There is nobody on. <laughs> so I've got to take care of myself. I'm assuming that the green bars at the bottom right are my health. And then you've got food and water. So, I mean, that's water, right? I would, I would have thought that there would be some food by there. I'm also wanting to try and fly, but I don't know. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Controls. Will it tell me? Input. I'm not going to fall through this. Oh, oh God. Please tell me. Oh, no. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. You can get out of this. You can do it, little chick. You can do it. Oh, I think. Did I do it? I've met my first trial, and that is trying to get out of this rock. Oh, no. I'm actually just genuinely stuck now. <laughs> I can't move. Bye, cruel world. Let's try a different map. De development server. There you go. I could be a dev. Oh, will this show me everything? Oh, please talk. Please show me everything. Oh, oh, oh God. Okay, let's see if we can interact and drink from the water. I feel like a little combi. Do, 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 do. Sorry. I mean, they got that down. That looks gorgeous. <gasps> Look at me swim. Little dragon, go swim, swim. I like, the, I like how the wings sort of turn into the little grasping claws. Oh, God. Oh, God. Is it going dark? Oh, no. I want to go over here. But what I will do is actually put up pictures of uh, concept art of dragons that they're wanting to put in the game. And they look absolutely gorgeous. You've got um, forest dragons, ice dragons, fire dragons. Oh, it looks so cool. And the best part about it is that the Kickstarter um, has well surpassed what they're asking for. So originally they wanted about £9,000. They're on £120,000. 
<laughs> this is so cool. This is ridiculous. Uh, can I interact? I'm clicking E. I can I drink the water? I don't know if I can drink water. Oh 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 no! In the water again. Ba ba la ba 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 la ba 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 la ba 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 la ba 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 ba. So yeah, this game is extremely early alpha. So um, yeah, it, things we can do is pretty low. Apparently we can test flying. I don't know how to do that, but uh, I will try. I'm asking, how does one fly? <laughs> I, I actually do also apologize about my throat. There's nothing I can do. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, God. James, you sound horrendous. Shut up. Also, the scale on the uh, dragons is quite vast. Uh, one thing I will say is on their Kickstarter, they're always adding new stretch goals. Um, and they go really quick. So depending on what you back, you can get custom dragons in the game. So I think... At the moment, if you want to help uh, fund this and get some exclusive stuff, I will put a link in the description below uh, where you can find the Kickstarter and uh, bag yourself a cool dragon. I think at the moment they've got a bundle on for a bioluminescent dragon and a white dragon. Should we go explore? I don't know if we should go explore. God, I look evil, don't I? Oh. i tell you what my sore throat does allow me to do. And that is, um, make some amazing, uh, golem voices. So this game hasn't even got to the point where they're like, oh yeah, now we can release it. Whoa, God. Yep, there it was. That That's what I was worried about. <laughs> Just play, yeah, that Pokemon Snap Rainforest music. This would go so well with it. Ooh, I really hope they add some cool mechanics as a baby. So like climbing trees or, you know, stuff, stuff that a huge dragon wouldn't be able to do. That'd be really cool. So I'm assuming there's gonna be ice dragons, fire dragons, all that jazz. And with the amount of funding they've got, they have the ability to make the perfect game. Kind of makes me wonder why the Isle never went to a Kickstarter. Because um, I'm sure that might have helped speed up the process. But you know what? Props to them. I think they went to early access. So that's the route they took. And it's working for them. I can lie down and go to sleep? Oh, that's so cool. I don't know how I did that. Oh my god, somebody's gonna hop on to make me grow. Yes! Ah, uh, normally, apparently, at the moment, it takes two hours to become an adult. I'm good, how are you, man? I'm a little tired. Uh, yeah, uh, growing would be really good. Or moving, because, okay. uh, I'm, I'm completely stuck. So... Are, are you the lead developer on this? Yes, I am the uh, basically the creator, and I did all the coding. <laughs> oh, oh, there you are. You're a lot bigger than me. <laughs> uh, what have you been eating yourself? <laughs> what, what have I been eating? Shall, shall I tell you what I've been doing this whole time? Oh, resting. Oh, oh my God, have I beaten the odds? It's evolution. By doing nothing, I've grown huge. You notice your stomach, it was really skinny, and now it's kind of fat. Oh. I just, oh, right. uh, I just gave you food and water. You're like a savior. You're a dragon god. So sorry, I have like a sore throat at the moment, so I- Oh, whoa, oh, okay. I'm also apparently uh, very hungry, very thirsty, and... Oh, is the middle thing to do with flight? No, the uh, the orange bar is a uh, dragon by all that. That's going to be like your fire, mana, acid, electricity, whatever you are. The ah. uh, gray bar in the middle of your screen, that's your uh, stamina. Um, when you run, it starts draining stamina. So, if this is your brainchild, there's one question. Do, do you like dragons? Oh, yeah. It all started with the peach dragon a long time ago. I watched that little that cartoon when I was a kid. How to Train Your Dragon is kind of really what inspired me to make this game. Spacebar uh, gives you, uh, helps you fly up. Uh, Alt will have you fly down. Shift will make you fly faster, go up or down faster. Um, Z will make you land if you're close to the ground. You also will auto automatically land if you get too close to the ground when you're flying. So what you're telling me is that at the moment, I can't crash into into the sand. No, oh, if you hold the right mouse button, it it's your flight cam. It makes flying a lot more enjoyable, I think. Uh, oh my god, yeah, it does. I have to ask, um, what what's your uh, reaction to the success of the Kickstarter? 
Like, uh, did you anticipate that to happen no. at all? <laughs> no, I was just trying to raise twelve thousand uh, dollars because I was I wanted to buy three new dragons. It just kind of blew up, you know. And Anthomnia helped with that, and uh, mm -hmm. you know other people, Discord communities, and YouTube and Twitch, and now it's like, wow, I can like not just do three dragons, but now I can do like thirty dragons, you know. So, so what what is the um, gameplay and sort of lifestyle you see for this game? I want to make the game to where people are going to rely on each other, you know, for getting certain things that they want, not just give it to them right off the bat at the creature. Then I have a nesting system. So there's the skin nesting mechanic, you know, because it's inherited through the parents. So if you have a red dragon and a blue dragon, the baby's either going to be red or blue. Right, and if both parents have the same skin, then all their babies will have the same skin. So, um, you know, and then I got an end game system. Um, is there an ender dragon? Oh, when you hit your full growth, like we're 1.0 right now, full growth, mm -hmm. grown adult. And then uh, there's a mechanic in the game that will allow you to grow beyond 1.0 in spurts. Oh. It'll give you a, a spurt of growth. So you'll grow a little bit more and then you'll stop again. And then you have to keep playing the game if you want to reach the, you know, the um, maximum potential of your species, which would be become an alpha class alpha dragon. And then uh, there's going to be alpha level AI uh, boss fights. You know, it'd take a group of regular adults or one alpha dragon to take on a boss. And then I got the elemental system, which is an automatic fun in the game as once they unlock it. So it's going to be like a dragon eat dragon system. I, I feel like I saw that there's other creatures in the world to eat as well. Yeah, there's uh, there's other things beside dragons basically all the dragons and elementals are player controlled and then i'm going to have other things like giant sandworms and insects and things like that for uh for food so if dragons are, are, are such a big part what's your favorite dragon movie though do you have one? Oh, uh, how to train your dragon yeah, so this is uh this is the desert biome this is where everybody's going to spawn into the game water in the oasis there's a couple different oasis spread spread out here in the desert oh right okay i thought it was like a separate map or something no same map it's a mega map oh so we're gonna have one map is it yes you gotta have a starting area and i, I gotta be careful because i don't want people camping baby uh, you know spawn so there's not, they're gonna have to be spread out i can't just have them all at one water source yeah i've 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 been playing PvP for a very long time. I, I know how that works. <laughs> Ooh. Actually, I was going to say, uh, did I immediately get myself stuck? No, I didn't. <laughs> I should have teleported you inside the cave. It's over here. <gasps> look at it. To the cave! You'll notice that there's some sliding and, you know, in the movement over here because we are so far away. Like, um, the mega map is going to be 20 kilometers squared. I mean, I would imagine that if you're, I mean, how? what's the biggest thing in this game? Are, are you imagining? Uh, probably the sandworms. Sandworms. Are, are dragons going to be able to get to a size that could take on a sandworm? Most species will have an alpha stage. Not every species. Um, and it's not, uh, some dragons are going to grow really large. Others are just going to grow more powerful. So, like, their uh, attacks will do more damage. Uh, you know, so they're like a night up. fury. Right. And that the dynamic growth systems are already in. Like when you spawned in, you didn't have any of these spikes on your wings. And You know, a customization. Uh, the nesting system is that you get a random skin. Is there any way that players would be able to customize their dragon loadout by any chance? Or is uh, it all random? The, uh, the abilities of the dragons um, are based on the species. Each dragon, fire dragons, they'll have like a base fire resistance of 90%. And um, so when you spawn in the game, you have a very high chance of being 90% fire resistance and an extremely tiny, small chance of being 100% fire resistant. I was gonna say, is there any way to check that without being cooked alive? The only way to find out what your stats are is to examine an egg. 
when a female lays an egg, her stats will show up on that egg. If she is grouped with a male, that male can imprint on that egg and then his stats will show up on that egg. The egg itself will take from his or her stat in every every category, so. So how are you gonna stop there being some sort of class dis discrimination going on here? Oh, you're not a 95%, you're only an 80. <laughs> I'm sure that's gonna, I'm sure people are going to have Alt alternate accounts with purebred, uh, maxed out, you know, dragons that they only use for breeding for their clan. I'm sure that's going to happen. Mutations if that dragon is bred from the same line or anything like that too many times? You know, that's a good, that's a good uh, idea, you know, and it has been asked. Uh, I do like the idea of preventing inbred baby dragons, so close relationships. So I'll, I'll probably eventually put some kind of thing in there to make sure that your brother and your sister are not all your mother and your father. Otherwise, everybody's going to be singing I'm my own grandpa in the game. <laughs> There'll be two amazing dragons that have bred everybody in the game. Right. Once everyone's fire resistant, no one is. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like the rival clans will also be trying to kill those high, you know, high stat line dragons that people are using for breeding, so. Oh, are we going to see any other playable species or is it just going to be dragons? Uh, dragons and elementals for now. A lot right. of people want to play as the AI creatures. Um, so um, that is a possibility in the future. If I do the AI, um, uh, you just got to add more animations because, you know, the AI would then need a sleeping animation and they need, you know, all these different call animations and i gotta ask what about uh humans is that ever going to be a thing no i no. i want a game without without humans in it <laughs> i kind of picture a world uh with no people in it is, is that just for this game or generally in life <laughs> no it just well i'm i'm introverted so you know i i like uh, going into nature and you know just seeing like the natural beauty you know of nature and then you know you're walking around and there's a beer can laying there and there's trash laying over there and you're thinking well man was here you know so you're, you're cutting deep right now <laughs> <laughs> right cigarette butts in the forest you know and uh, all that stuff so and you know if, if i did have like humans and building structures all the trees would be getting cut down you mentioned something about people saving dragons can i have multiple dragons to play as I guess you'd need multiple Steam accounts because. Ah, okay, okay. It looks gorgeous. Are these assets, or have you have these been created? These, uh, these were all custom made by a guy that. Um, it's all he does is models and uh, you know nature scenes and stuff like that. And he worked for some other company. And wow, okay, so these are assets that will probably stay in the game. Oh yes, <laughs> these are permanent. Uh, assets. It's just this map. The assets on the map are permanent. The, the map itself is uh, just a test area. It's a small one, 1K by 1K. I mean, it looks gorgeous just having a look around. It's beautiful and it will be just as beautiful, but it's also really small. It's only, are you going to record? Or? Ah, um, probably should have uh, mentioned that I was already recording. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> if there's nothing that you've said that uh, you, you don't want to say, is there? Uh, I don't think so. I just... <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> so sorry. I, I should have I should have mentioned. I was already recording before uh, before you jumped in. Oh, well, I guess this is... Uh, you can title this video uh, uh, Being Real with uh, <laughs> Dave Dragon's Dev. So. The truth. You'll never believe what he said. <laughs> he hates dragons! And people say, well, this guy says, um, all the time. It's like, you know, my mind uh, talks faster than my mouth does. And, mm. um... <laughs> and, um... <laughs> right. It's really hard to get words out because there's so much going on up, up in my head that it's like, should I say this, 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 and that's just how my brain works. You sound very chilled, very relaxed. Yeah, I'm, I'm a very cool, calm, and collected kind of person, so people are like, are you hyped? Are you excited? I'm like, yeah, in a cool and no, calm No, yeah, kind like, I, I, I'm exploding on the inside. Right, right. <laughs> there'll be a roar, there'll be a friendly noise, there'll be a threat and a submission, and um, I think we're going to do, like, a mating 
uh, dance type thing, you know, toothless dance or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I don't know. So I will let you do what you do. Maybe sleep. I don't I, know. I'm gonna go back to coding. You know what? I actually solve uh, code problems in my sleep. I have been stumped on things before, and I went to sleep and and I dreamed about it and I figured it out while I was sleeping. And I woke up and first thing I did was like head right to my computer and and I was, and then uh, put the, put in the you know the fix and then test it out and I was like yes. <laughs> Wait, did you dream of a solution? Yes, I, I've done that many times. Oh my god, he's on a whole nother level. Did you want to go back to the desert? Uh, no, I think I've got everything I need, actually. All right. All right, well, nice meeting you. Let us know if there's anything we can do for you. Yeah, sure, no problem. Thank you uh, for taking the time to uh, listen to my <coughs> broken voice. I don't know if uh, anybody told you how to pronounce my name, but when they put out the YouTube videos, everybody's been saying uh, Jao. It's J-O, so... So it's not Jao, it's J-O. Right. There you go. Exclusive. We found his name. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Take care. All right. So that's going to have to wrap the video. Again, I'm so sorry about my voice. I, it really can't be held here. But if you've made it through the entire video, uh, big props to you. Uh, it looks like this game... Um, has great things ahead of it. Um, the creator has a vision. Uh, the art style is beautiful. And hopefully I wish them the best of luck. If you do want to support them on uh, on the Kickstarter, again, like I said at the start of the video, you can find it in uh, the link in the description below and possibly bag yourself some unique dragon skins. Um, or I assume now, just find a parrot with those skins and you can also uh, have those skins. <laughs> But uh, thank you again for uh, watching this video. Uh, it's due to you that I can even uh, do this. And uh, until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs>